So earlier this week, Andy Rubin, the founder of Android, launched his own company called Essential. And two days ago, they launched their first phone, the Essential PH1. And this happens to be their affordable bezel-less phone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the features that bezel-less display itself and how this phone stacks up in the market against the competition of the Samsungs and the Apples and other companies. And is it actually worth paying $700 for this bezel-less beauty? Hey, what is up guys? This is Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And today we're talking the Essential PH1. So the Essential PH1 is kind of a unique touch to a smartphone. It does not borrow any sort of design language from any phone. It's using unique materials. It has some neat features and some cons as well. So starting off, it has a 5.71 inch 13, 12 into 2560 Quad HD display. Now it's not true Quad HD, but it's close to that. And it comes with a 19 is to 10 aspect ratio. So if you have a portrait image on the screen, it's not going to fill the whole thing up. And you know, watching YouTube videos and standard 16 is to 9 content also seems a little, you know, a little bit weird using that display. But it's really good. It's IPS and it covers 85% of the display or the phone itself. So it has an 85% screen to body ratio. Powering that display is a Snapdragon 835, 4 gigabytes of RAM and an Adreno 540 GPU clocked at 710 megahertz. So this thing is packing some serious punch. Powering the whole phone is a 3040 mAh battery. This is non-removable but supports quick charge 3.0 via that USB Type-C 2.0 port at the bottom. This phone is also missing the headphone jack and it comes with 128 gigabytes of storage out of the box and you cannot expand it anyway. Talking about the cameras, it has a 13 megapixel dual camera setup at the back and this happens to be the thinnest dual camera setup on a phone. Next to that are two connectors and this also is trying to get that modular approach on a smartphone but it's doing it in a unique way. It's not shoving that feature up your face. You want to use it, you can and those two connectors can help you connect accessories made by Essential as well. Right now there are two accessories, a charging dock and one 360 degree camera that can help you, you know, capture 4K videos in 360. On the front you have an 8 megapixel camera in between that display frame and it does you know annoy me that it's right in the middle of the display and does take up a little bit of screen real estate and will be annoying in you know usability as well but that 8 megapixel camera is capable of doing 4k video and that happens to be the only front camera in this whole smartphone industry that can do 4k video in terms of the home button there is no home button this thing is borrowed from the galaxy s8 you have the same kind of android layout on the bottom and there is no haptic feedback or such, but yeah, that's it. On the back, below the cameras, you have your fingerprint scanner. And that is a really intelligent placement. But this phone is no one-handed, you know, phone. You have to shimmy around, you have to use both the hands. But the placement of the fingerprint sensor, I think, according to me, is right. Next, some other features are this phone's frame is built out of titanium, and the back and the whole phone is made out of ceramic. So it you know, resist drops and other things, you know, better than other phones. And on the front, you have Corning Gorilla Glass 5. That means it's strengthened at the front as well. Now, one con being this does not have any IP rating. So no dust resistance or water resistance. Maybe it is there, but it is not confirmed by the company itself. And the phone retails for $699. According to me, that is a good price. But I think Essential, as it's their first phone, it is really good. They should have kept the price a little lower to compete, you know, better, to keep it more aggressive. And at least even if they don't sell well, it should be in people's mind while they're, you know, trying to look out for a new phone. And as it's made by Andy Rubin, you get Android 7.1.1 Nougat out of the box, stock, and updates are also promised by them you know on regular intervals and I feel this essential PH1 will be you know at least first or second in line to get Android updates you can expect that as it's made by Andy Rubin that's been it my honest opinion on the phone the phone is really good it has its own pros and cons you know internals are good that bezel is beauty display actually makes it worth buying the phone but $700 is kind of steep I believe they should have kept it down and then it would have sell even you know 
better. But that's been it. Thanks a lot for watching. Drop this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the essential pH 1. Do you really think it's essential to your life? And just let me know your raw thoughts. My thoughts are really good. The phone will do really good you know, in the enthusiast market. And I'm really excited for what's next from Essential. That's been it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.